After assembling the cylinder head, adjust the clearance of suction and exhaust valve in the following procedure. Firstly, turn the flywheel to set the piston of the cylinder for which the clearance is to be adjusted at the TDC of the compression stroke. At this time, if the push rod moves slightly, judge it as being in the compression process. Loosen the lock nut and then loosen the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of valve guard little by little while holding its upper part and then adjust the clearance to be on zero point. After adjusting, fix the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut completely. Secondly, insert the feeler gauge into the clearance between the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of rocker arm little by little. Fix the adjusting screw in a point from where the feeler gauge can be easily drawn out and tighten the lock nut. After tightening the lock nut, insert the feeler gauge again to check it can be easily drawn out. Control and adjusting of the valve clearance. Safety precautions and preparations. Shut off the starting air. Shut off the fuel oil. Stop the lubrication oil circulation. Remove the top cover to give access to the valves. Remove the cover for valve camshaft. Turn the crankshaft until the cylinder is in ignition top dead center. That means both valves are closed and the cams are on the circular part. Check that the surfaces are clean. Loosen the counter nut and the adjusting screw on the rocker arm and insert the feeler gauge between the valve bridge and the rocker arm. Adjust the screw on the rocker arm until the feeler gauge gives only slight resistance. Tighten the counter nut on the valve bridge with torque. See the value on page 500.40. Recheck that the feeler gauge clearance hasn't changed. Adjust the screw on the valve bridge until the feeler gauge gives slightly more resistance. But it must still be possible to move the feeler gauge. Loosen the counter nut and the adjusting screw on the rocker arm and insert the feeler gauge between the valve bridge and the rocker arm.
adjust the screw on the rocker arm until the feeler gauge gives only slight resistance. Tighten the counter nut on the valve bridge with torque. See the value on page 500.40. Adjust the screw on the valve bridge until the feeler gauge gives slightly more resistance. But it must still be possible to move the feeler gauge. Mount the top cover on the cylinder cover. Mount the camshaft cover. 